The Ice Queen is in control. Up what nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Kakuya Wants to be Confessed to Chapter 143. So last chapter we got to see um, the Ice Queen in action and uh, yeah, she went to, back to uh, playing some mind games and boy, Miyuki, what the fuck happened, dude? I thought you were smarter than this. Oh my god. I just was so surprised by how fucking clueless Miyuki was last chapter. My god. Anyway, um, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. Ice Kaguya, the one who first fell in love with Shiragani, is still in control. Um, there will be uh, no need to put up my hair today. Oh? I'd like the perfume I received uh, from my sister-in-law instead. I don't suppose there's any left? My, my. And chapter 143 is titled, Kaguya Wants to be Noticed, and in parentheses, it says ice. You've been strange, you've been strangely sweet ever since yesterday, so I was worried something might have happened. I see, there's nothing to worry about. Hmm. 87 sheep, 88 sheep, 89 sheep, shh, shh. One coffin, two coffins, coffins, <laughs> three coffins. Wait, wait, what are you counting, President? Um, um so the, the joke is, is in Japanese, uh, according to translation, note, uh, sheep is um, Hitsugi and coffin is Hitsugi. And the, so the scene is a play on words. I'm like, this is great. Huh? I'm just counting sheep. I couldn't really sleep yesterday. No, no, you started counting coffins partway through. Don't go counting things that imply you'll never wake up again. Lunch break two days before Christmas. Uh, Shiragani was beginning to crack. Um, this should come as no surprise. Things were going extremely well during the culture festival. But right when he thought they'd finally started, uh, they'd finally start dating, Kaguya suddenly declared that she'd never date a man with no spine. And as if, uh, to add insult to injury, she used his trigger words. How cute! I should go watch penguins at the aquarium. Naturally, he was boarding on a complete mental breakdown. Oh, God! Hello? Uh, whoa, your hair is down today, Shidomiya senpai You haven't done that since uh, that time you put makeup on me. Ah, that did happen, didn't it? I brought my makeup kit today. Would you like to do it again? <laughs> oh, no! No, please! Anything but that. Oh, that's too... Oh, that's too bad. He... Huh? She's in a good mood today. Good morning, Shinomiya. Shinomiya's acting weird today? Weird? No, she's tr she's treating me just like always. And she's acting perfectly normal with Fujiwara-senpai too. So I was thinking we could do um, Hot Pot to get into the Christmas mood. Uh, that's a pretty good idea. She was way weirder yesterday. Yes, yeah, that was sure was something else. But she totally ignored me just now. Maybe you just pissed her off without realizing it. Sometimes girls will get mad at you for the littlest things, like not carrying a bag for them or something. Oh my god, that is so true. That is so true! Does that ring any bells? I can't say it doesn't. It looks like I really do have to, um, it looks like I really do need to have a, another serious talk with her. Uh, Vice President Shinomiya, you're using perfume, aren't you? That's against school rules. Oh? It was only a it was only a bit. You've got quite the nose. Sorry, but I'm going to have to confiscate it. You know what? I'll give it to you, Inosan. Huh? Do you not normally use perfume? Of course not. You know, it's almost Christmas. Wouldn't you like to take advantage of this opportunity to try it? Your body smells really good. Woo! Perfume mingles with one's body odor. The nape is especially warm, so applying it there is particularly particularly effective. If you want to make a man fall for you, put this on 30 minutes before seeing him. When you meet, your passion will, will bring out an even stronger scent. You will find you irresistible. Looks like we're accomplices now. Oh, that was sneaky! Kakiya, that was some sneaky shit! Oh my god! But... Doesn't this perfume have kind of an old lady smell to it? Oh, Eno! Oh, Eno with the roast! It's like, I don't know, kind of strong? It seems like a bit much for a high school girl. No, like I just said, a perfume uh, smell changes with time. This one is a bit strong at first, but after 30 minutes, um, not that uh, it smells bad as it is now either. Shinomiya, can we talk? 
smells just like uh, the stuff my aunt wears. Shinomiya? Why are you running, Shinomiya? Shinomiya, Shinomiya! Finally, you've got nowhere left to run. Why are you running away, Shinomiya? Please, don't come any closer. I just, stop right there. Don't get any closer. Does she really hate me that much? Why, the reason was simple. It hadn't yet been 30 minutes since Shinomiya put on her perfume. Perfume undergoes the following changes over time. Top note, middle note, last note. Um, Shinomiya's perfume is best on its middle note. Right after applying, it smells a bit like something um, a middle-aged woman might wear. However, at that moment, Shinomiya realized something. Her body temperature has risen during the chasing just now. She was sweating profusely. She reached the perfect combination of fragrance and body odor to achieve the middle note, also known as the heart note. Okay, I get it. I won't um, come get any closer to you. Hold it right there. Where do you think you're going? Huh? You just told me to leave. Well, you can stay now. Actually, you have to stay. Women are a goddamn enigma. Um, hey, Shinomiya, is it just me, or have you been acting strange since yesterday? I'm acting like I always do. No, that's definitely not true. Did I do something? If I had to give a reason, I suppose you could say I suppressed my inner idiot since it got carried away. Carried away? I made that promise to study abroad in the heat of the moment, but after considering it with a level head, I realized I had made a decision so terrifying it sent shivers down my spine. No, Kaguya, what are you saying? I si simply cannot allow myself to get carried away. Carried away, huh? I see. So was that kiss also just because you got carried away? Indeed. It seems that kiss meant a lot to you, but to me it was nothing more than a simple kiss. I mean... Why not just do it right here, right now? A kiss. Huh? I'm getting deja vu. There's no way I could. You can't just kiss someone carelessly like that. A kiss without true feelings behind it is completely pointless. Ow! What'd you kick me for? My apologize. In the Shinomiya household, we kick the daylights out of those that still believe in the sanctity of a kiss. Oh my god, Kaguya, you fucking dumbass! Oh my god! Something really is off with you. You usually never resort to violence. Why are you so angry with me? Just tell me already. It's... You're ignoring me. Your expression is darker than usual. Your hair is down. And you're wearing really nice perfume even though you never usually do. I'm worried about you. He noticed! Thank you! Thank you, Miyuki. You think it smells nice? Yeah, it smells great, but you've never done anything like this before. If only you'd always notice things like that, it, I'd always be in a good mood. Wait, don't tell me. When you were saying how cold you were yesterday, did you really want me to hold your hand? Finally! Oh my god! Finally! But I didn't, so you're mad at me? Uh, of course not! Shinomiya? Well, that figures. At this point, it'd be better if you hadn't realized. Um... Today's results, unsurprisingly, Shinomiya's lost. He almost had it figured out there, out for a second there. Dude, you were right, Miyuki! What the f- Oh my god! Kaguya! Damn it! Just let Miyuki be right! Miyuki was right! Oh my god, Miyuki finally figured it out! I'm so happy! Thank God, Miyuki was redeemed this chapter. Thank fucking God. I'm sorry, Miyuki needed this redemption. Thank God. But God damn it, Kaguya. Oh my God, I want to. I want to smack the fuck out of her. Like Jesus. Stop playing games. Stop saying stupid shit! You are lucky Miyuki knows you, knows what the fuck is going on in your head. To an extent. He knows that you're full of shit, Kaguya. He knows. He knows you're full of shit. Thank God Miyuki's so goddamn smart. That's my Stanford boy right there. But, dude, Miyuki was about to have a mental fucking breakdown because of your dumbassery. Jesus. Ugh. Oh. I'm very happy with, uh, so overall, I am very happy with this chapter in regards to Miyuki. Miyuki definitely needed this redemption. Oh, thank freaking God. I'm so goddamn happy. Um, but Jesus, Kaguya, like, oh, God damn. Stop playing these games. Oh. It's getting frustrating. You could have had a really cute moment here with with um uh with Miyuki and been like, and you could have been really cute and you could have been all adorable and said, oh really you noticed? And, which you kind of did, but and, um and uh when he said you want.
wanted me to hold your hand, you could have been like, you could have been like, oh, yeah, you're right. That's exactly, that's what I wanted. Like, seriously, you could have just admitted that's what you wanted. And just said something, you could have been a smart ass to say, you got to notice these subtle hints, dude. <laughs> seriously. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, what did you guys, uh, think of this chapter? Uh, do you think Kagi is just being fucking stupid right now <laughs> with these games? And also, are you happy that Miyuki got some redemption? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Zinc if you love what I'm doing and want to help, uh, keep, um, this channel live so I can keep covering Kaguya content. There's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me. On Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from your PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.